everyone and welcome back to a new video thanks so much for tuning in i really do appreciate it if you wonder what this is in my water bottle i honestly feel like i'm coming down with something i feel really like snotty and like horrible this morning um which is brilliant because i'm getting my flu done tomorrow so yay fun times um so yes yeah, so i'm filming this on a very gloomy sunday morning you'll be seeing this later today um it's been raining it's horrible out there and my dad's in it so haha -ha. um <laughs> I mean, anyway, today we are sharing what we, I am sharing with you. So we are sharing together um, my Disney Cuposket collection. Um, I wasn't really aware of uh, Cuposkets until I think about a year ago when I started watching videos and people were like saying, oh, I got a Cuposket. Also, um, yeah, I think it was last year as well. My sister got a Cuposket. Um, her best friend um, went to Japan on our honeymoon and brought her back a Tinkerbell one in the pastel version so that's how i knew that there was like two different ones which i'll talk about a little bit later on um so yeah i kind of knew about it then and i was slightly obsessed and i started googling it and then obviously found the youtube videos and then it just spiraled out of control and then about in january uh, i went into one of my local disney stores and they had them there and i just freaked out i couldn't believe it and the collection has grown since then so i have four full size ones and one petite one there's a reason i only have one petite one which again i will talk about later so coupon skits they come in two different styles well at least the standard ones do i don't think the petite well the petite ones come in just their one style the standard ones come in classic well ordinary normal average whatever you want to call it uh, original and pastel so there's two different designs you can tell which one you're buying by the color of the box so for instance um there's a bell one I have. I've got the pastel one. Um, so if you found a bell box with a dark blue um, dress on it, that's the standard. If you saw one with the light blue dress on, that's the pastel. Um, so yeah. So apart from one of mine, the bell one, I have all standard because I wanted them to kind of stay true to the character in the film. So I do show um, three of these more in depth in uh, two of my videos one's my Disneyland Paris haul and the other is my Cupos Get unboxing which I'll leave a link down below for you if you want to check them out just in case I don't show them in full detail like especially the unboxing I kind of had the camera over head so I can kind of see obviously I don't have a flip out screen so I don't even know what you're seeing right now so um just in case I don't, I do have them in that, and I'm um, more than happy to kind of do a more dedicated video about certain coupon skits if you want to see more close up of them. I can do it in that style if you um, decide to. So yes, um, decide to if you want to. That's the word. Uh, if you'd like to, it's it's Sunday. We can't talk on Sundays. I can't talk on Sundays. Anyway, let's start with Briar Rose, my very first coupon skit. So um, she was the first one we picked up on the day where I discovered coupon skits because I could not leave the Disney store without her. I was very thankful that she was a gift, but I didn't get her for I think about a month um, until my sister went to Disneyland Paris and she was the final gift. Uh, my sister, you, I explained it in the Disneyland Paris haul video. Um, so yeah, I just, she's just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Just where I start, all of these are from Shop Disney, either online or from in-store. Just in case you're wondering, I know there's other places that do it. Even Hong Kong Disneyland do them. So um, that's just a little thing for you, just in case you're wondering where to get them from. Um, I'm sure there's other places you can get them from, but I mainly get mine from the Disney store. So yeah, so she looks like this. Now, I will say she has a stand, and that is because her head weighs a ton. Like, my hand is going like that, just holding her. Her head weighs an absolute ton because she's just got hair. I don't know if you can kind of see if I do that. You can just see, like, the thickness of the absolute hair. The characteristic of the Cupos gets are the big bug eyes. Um, very, like, a Japanese, like, manga sort of style, anime sort of style. So it's very much like that. Um, but her dress is pretty much the same. Uh, sorry, my... my figurines are a little bit dusty because I've got to dust them before I did this because I just forget um but as you can see her dress is just like the Briar Rose dress um in the film with the little collar the corset and then the skirt the colouring is exactly the same like I said this is the standard version not the pastel version um and then each stand um has a little sort of detailing going around like I don't even know what to call it like a like enamelin but not, it's not actually enamel, but like, you know, like detailing you get on like skirting boards, sort of that sort of thing. Um, and then they say keep or get on the bottom as well. 
I can't really maneuver her that much because like I said she's held up by the stand and she will fall over. I absolutely love her, I think she's incredible. I have another Aurora one for Christmas so I'm really looking forward to adding to my collection and when I go to Japan I'm definitely going to buy as many of these as I can get my hands on like whether they're like the pastel versions or just different versions. Um, but yeah I'm so happy with her, she's incredible. I also love the little like flush pink cheeks, I feel like just that added little detail make them worth it. These standard size ones are £25 from Shop Disney. Um, um, but they do go cheap in the south. For instance, I, the two I've got for Christmas, they went bad to like £12.50. So it's something to keep an eye out for. Um, but yeah, she's incredible. I love her so much. And just like, the de look at the detailing. Oh, oh, I can't, I can't. She's just incredible. So the next one I got is one that, again, I saw in my Dis local Disney store. And I was like, looking at the coupon skits for about 20 minutes, as I usually do. And then I was like, I literally cannot leave the store without it. So I was like okay I'm gonna get her and I've not regretted it at all because she's stunning and that is Mulan. Mulan is one of my top five favorite princesses. She's incredible. I got to meet her last year in a Disneyland California um, in February for Lunar New Year. Best experience of my life. Incredible. She's fantastic. I love her so much and I saw this and I just had to get her. Again she's in the standard color wave because I felt like it was more true to the film. She has a little um well do you know what? I actually never really noticed that before until now that this is her comb. So she has her comb in her hair, proves how much I pay attention, um, and then her kimono um, dress that I absolutely love. What I also love is that each kind of like um, stature is like what their pose is very true to their character. So I feel like with this one, like Milan's looking all like quite demure, but I feel like she could potentially have like the sword of Shan Yu, like just hiding behind her you know what I mean like it could just be like one of those things um but it's incredible also what I love is the way she's standing you can see they've done the dress as if it's falling that way as well like it's twisting with her it's just these like extraordinary small details that just make the, like these little figurines just so worth it and then her way her hair kind of falls to the side and then like it's like pinned with the comb like it's just honestly it just looks like I just picked her out from the film you know what I mean? It's it's incredible. I just oh, I can't even like. Um, again, she has like a like a, a flush to the cheeks, but more like a natural flush because obviously Mulan's a, li a lot more natural. You know, but she's a warrior. She, she kicks ass. Like you know, she's not gonna worry about putting too much blusher on. Um, I mean, she might do. I don't know, but. As we see from the film, she doesn't. Um, so yeah, I just absolutely love her. I mean, I will say with these coupon skets, like they sit on the middle of my shelf and like there are some days where I just sit and stare at them because I just think they're incredible. Like she's, oh my God. You can see why I couldn't leave the Disney store without her. So the next two I'm gonna show you are from my coupon skit unboxing video. Like I said, it'll be linked down below for you if you wanna check that out. The first one I'm gonna show you is my petite one. Um, the petite ones are 15 pounds on Shop Disney yeah you kind of get duped um they're not the best quality in comparison i've read reviews of when they got this one or other petite ones like this that they broke um because she's connected by her shoe i don't know if you can see that um and it has a tendency to snap uh, so not brilliant um but she is still absolutely adorable again the big eyes the flushed cheeks and then like the little pose um it's almost like she's about to walk down the stairs um, towards her stepmother, so Lady Tremaine, Anastasia and Drizella. Um, but yeah, she's in her pink dress, which obviously was done by the mice, because obviously it was her mother's dress um, and the birds. Um, but she's incredible, and then just like even the details all the way around. Also, I like the fact that like the dress is sort of, it is like she's walking, and the dress is kind of flying up as she's walking down the stairs, so I really do like that as well. And then the little bow in her hair. She is incredible. I don't think she's worth £15. Um, £10 I probably would pay for her, but not 15 um she also has a plain base so she has no detail in no cuposket no nothing so you there's nothing on here honestly there is literally nothing to tell you that this is a cuposket other than the obviously the box she came in um and then the details of the eyes and the flushed cheeks and like the lips just like the really simple details that cuposkets have um but she is beautiful i do love the detail in um and i see that there is a bit of paint on the white bit that i never noticed before so yeah, not the best quality, the little ones, compared to the big ones, but um, she's cute, and I really wanted her, and I am glad that she's in my collection, like, I really do like her, I kind of have her set up in a nice way. Um, yeah, I just wish that they were, like, for £15, you want a bit more, well, you definitely want more, um, sort of, um, quality, rather than quantity. 
So the next one to show you is my Pastel Belle one. Now she is known as the country style, not village, country style Belle. She is incredible though, she's beautiful, she's stunning, and I love her so much. Um, again, you can see the way she's walking, her apron sort of falls in the way it would when she's walking, and she's holding behind her back a book. So, and I like the fact that the book um, sort of matches her dress, but also the book is actually similar to the colour of the standard, um, coloured um, country style belle, so I wonder if maybe the standard one has a pastel book, I don't know. If you have um, the normal um, colourway, um, please do let me know. She has her little flats again. We're going back to the standard um, base with the coupon skit on it. Um, she is absolutely stunning and oh, just I love her so much. I can't even. Uh, but just like the little details, like again with the skirt flying up as if she's walking. Like these, honestly, these figurines do look like you've just picked them out of the film. Like that's what I love about so much about them. And and then again, like, just a little bit of her hair. Um, obviously, her hair. I think her hair. Obviously, her hair. Is her hair this? No, her hair is darker than this. Is it darker than this? Yeah, it is darker than this. So obviously her hair is lighter. Um, but I just like the dress. I feel like the dress is more true to the film. Um, where the other one is more true to what she wears in the park. So, yeah. I just... Oh, I love her so much. I think I got her because, like, my dream is to meet her in the parks. Um, but I just haven't got around to that yet. Also, I will say, and just in case you were curious, they are wearing underwear. So they are wearing, like, pantaloni. You can't really see that, but, like, pantaloni things. Um, just in case you're wondering. And then the last one to show you, well, there was a whole saga behind this, like, uh, <laughs> a whole saga. So I went on the Banpresto um, website, so the coupon gets come under Banpresto. Um, so I went on the Banpresto Japan website in about March time, and I saw this, um, this one, and I screenshot her, and I was like, I need to just, like, go to Japan now. I need to swim there, I need to fly there, I need to take a boat, I need to walk there. I don't know how I'm going to get there. Just get me there so I can get this coupon get. Um, and then literally I was in one of my local um, Disney stores um, just having a look around after doing some work with my sister and um, I totally ignored the sales section and, and then Charlie was like why don't we have a look at the sales section and then I turned around to like the other side of the case and there she was along with a Rapunzel which I actually have for Christmas um, and oh god I I can't even. I literally gasped so loudly. The cast member jumped out of their skin like, what is going on? And I sort of explained that I honestly didn't think I was ever going to get her. And like, I just, like, I cannot even, like, the happiness I feel. And that is the dreamy style jasmine so the dreamy style are all the wedding dresses so you get ariel cinderella jasmine and belle i know belle doesn't wear a wedding dress but they put her in a load of ruffles and a lot of ruching and she now is in, she now uh, she is now in a wedding dress you can still get um the cinderella one on shop disney she is on my list um all in the standard size i don't know if they do the dreamy style in the petite but i know they do in the standard size size so she is the standard one um because again she's more truer to the film aladdin the king of thieves is my favorite aladdin film one of my favorite films uh, disney films of all time so um i just knew i had to have her so she has the little flowers in her hair which are just incredible and then i don't know if you can see this but she's got like a net sort of style on her veil because obviously veils are netting so they've kind of done like a little checkerboard sort of rough uh, style i don't know you can hear that um, to kind of um, emphasise that this is a veil. And then we have her little train at the back. And then what I love at the front is that it has the two parts. We have the centre skirt and then the overskirt. Um, and she's actually holding the overskirt back um, as it like root ruffles down, um, as it falls down. And it's just incredible. And then you can see her shoes peeping out at the bottom. And then she just has her usual detail in like her earrings and then like the little uh, choker. Um, well the high neck of her dress and then like kind of the little belts and the cuffs and the neckline oh, it's just oh. I mean I'm not saying I have a favourite but she's my favourite she is just incredible she has a white base again in the same design with Kuposket on it um, but she is just beyond incredible I cannot even like I just there are no words to express how much I love her like she's just incredible and I think you know after going three months of just thinking like I'm never ever going to find her like just having her and I literally got out like my screenshot when I found her and I was like look I screenshot her three months ago it was meant to be um but yeah she's incredible and then look at her hair oh I think Jasmine has the, like the best hair her and Pocahontas have like the best hair so she's just oh she's incredible I love her so much um she was reduced so she was £17.49 so she was slightly cheaper than the other ones and then like the ones I got for Christmas were reduced again to about 
twelve pound. So um, yeah, it's to some extent you can hold out if you don't want to spend the twenty five pound, but. There's no guarantee you're going to get the ones that you want, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so that's the end of my video. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, if you have any coupons, gets, let me know which ones you have. Um, I will definitely be growing this collection as, um, as time goes on because I just need more. I don't know where I'm going to put them, but I need more. So yeah, like I said, I am going on holiday soon. So make sure you keep an eye on at Alan's in Wonderland on Instagram and at Alan's in Wonder on Twitter. That's mine and my sister's Disney account. We will be posting snacks, Halloween fun, meet and greets, you name it. We're going to be posting it. Uh, we leave next week, so that's really exciting. Um, but don't worry, there will be a video up next week while I'm away um, and also the week after. Um, for you guys to check out, um, I'm not going to try and do any more breaks now. I'm going to keep pers persevering and keep moving forward. Um, and if you want to come and say hi to me, then I'm at vintage underscore spikes on both Instagram and Twitter. It'll all be linked down below for you if you want to check it out. So, yes, thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you guys again next week. Bye!